Number eight, integrated concepts. A 12 volt battery operated bottle warmer heats 50 grams of glass, 2.5 times 10 to the two grams of baby formula, and two times 10 to the two grams of aluminum from 20 degrees Celsius to 90 degrees Celsius. Letter A, how much charge is moved by the battery? So uh, we understand that in order to heat materials, right, from some temperature, in this problem it's 20, to some other temperature, to 90, it takes energy, right? And we also know that if energy is being applied and there is a certain voltage over which that energy is being applied, then that energy is being supplied by some charge that's being moved. So the first thing I'm going to do is calculate the amount of energy here that it takes to heat all that stuff. And I'm going to call that energy, we'll just label it E. Okay, so the energy total, or the total energy of heating all that stuff will be the energy that it takes to heat the uh, glass, plus then the energy it takes to heat the baby formula, which they told us at the end of the problem, it's about the same as water. And then the energy it takes to heat the aluminum. Now remember, our energy formulas, okay, that involve heat transfer. The mass then of the energy of the glass is then found by taking the mass of the glass, multiplying it by the specific heat of the glass, then multiplying it by the change in temperature of that glass. And you probably remember the formula Q is equal to mc delta t. Now, same thing for the water, right? The mass of the water, the specific heat of the water, the change in temperature of the water, plus then the mass of the aluminum, specific heat of the aluminum, and then try, time to change the temperature of the aluminum. So now I can, you know, the change in temperatures are going to be the same for each. I could factor that. Yeah, why not? Right? It'll make it a little easier. The change in temperature is constant, essentially, amongst all of them. Right? Because they're all going from 20 to 90. So mathematically, I can kind of take that out, right, of each term. So now I can write something like the change in temperature of the glass. All right? But... What I'm going to do is I'm going to start plugging in the values, excuse me, the uh, change in temperature of all the objects, right, which is the final temperature minus the initial, which is then the 90 degrees Celsius minus the 20. Remember, you do not have to convert that into Kelvin. You can if you like, but the difference between the two will be exactly identical. Then multiply now by the mass of the glass times the specific heat of the glass, plus then the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water, plus then the mass of the aluminum times the specific heat of the aluminum. Okay? So hopefully that makes sense. All I did was pull out a common delta t. So the mass of glass here was uh, 50 grams, but remember we're going to need that in kilograms, so 0.5. All right, kilograms, uh, excuse me, 0.05. Specific heat of glass, we got to look that up, uh, 840. Okay, 840. Plus then mass of the water. They told us it was about 2.5 times 10 to the 2. In other words, about 250 grams. So in terms of kilograms, that's going to be 0.25. Multiply that by then the specific heat of water, 4,184. And then add to that the mass of the aluminum, okay, which is, again, 200 grams, but we need that in kilograms, so 0.2. Multiply that by the specific heat, 900. And voila. All we now need to do is then calculate. Okay, so the total amount of energy here. So let's see. So 90 minus 20 is 70. I'm going to take 70 then and multiply it now by each of these. So 0.05 times 840 plus 0.25 times 4184 plus then 0.2 times 900. And I get a value of about 88,760 uh, joules. Okay. Now, if this is then the amount of uh, energy that was essentially gained... Uh, by the uh, materials here, the glass, the water, and the aluminum. Where did that energy come from? The energy basically came from the potential difference in the moving charge, okay, that's involved in creating a, a uh, potential difference there. So, or actually I shouldn't say in creating, but a uh, moving charge that is uh, created uh, from a potential difference. So now we have the formula delta V is equal to delta PE, remember change in potential energy, all divided then by the charge. So another way to kind of interpret this formula would be that the potential difference, all right, between two points is going to be equal to then the change of potential energy, right, between basically those two points divided by the charge that it took to create that uh, either uh, potential difference or the charge that it took to change its change the potential energy of whatever the heck we're talking about. 
So here what we're going to do is now I'm going to be able to basically, well, what I'll do is this. I know that I have to solve for Q. They're asking for charge. So using that formula, why am I putting it in a different color, right? Let's put it in a different color. So delta V is going to be equal to delta PE all over Q. So that means Q will be equal to delta PE all over uh, delta V. And the potential energy is the same as the, remember, the conservation of energy. We've been doing this now for a few problems here in the chapter. We notice basically we just substitute that energy on in. And the V then is 12. There you go. So divide that by 12. And we get a value of about now 7,396. Uh, How many sig figs? I don't know. Three, I guess. Right, so maybe 7,000. Or let me do it this way. Seven point. I guess four zero times 10 to the three. All right. And that's in terms of coulombs because we're measuring charge. And that's that. All right. So that's letter A. Then letter B, it says now, how many electrons per second flow if it takes five minutes to warm the formula? All right. So let's get rid of all this stuff. I'm going to keep our coulomb answer. Oh, let's delete it. So remember now, this many coulombs correlates with a certain number of electrons. Recall that one electron, okay, so this is letter B now. Recall that one electron here has a charge of negative, it is, negative 1.6, oops, negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. So if this is the total amount of charge, and we know that each single electron has this amount of charge, how do we find then the total number of electrons? It's basically a simple conversion, right? 7.40 times 10 to the third coulombs. Put coulombs on the bottom. Basically, number of electrons on the top. For every one electron, it's 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th coulombs. And there we go. We just have to do a division. So divide by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19th. And it comes out to be about 4.62 times 10 to the 22nd uh, electrons. Okay, now that's how many electrons there are. But they don't want to know the total number, right? They want to know electrons per second if it takes five minutes, okay, to warm the formula. So now where do we go from there? Well, remember, we know the total amount of electrons, and we know that this number of electrons has to flow in total, meaning has to flow over five minutes. Okay, so in other words, that means that I can take my 4.62 times 10 to the 22nd number of electrons, divide it then by five minutes, because we know that this total number of electrons has to flow over five minutes, and what this would do is this would give me then the total number of electrons per minute. But I don't want to know per minute. I want to know per second. So then what do we got to do? We gotta go from minutes to seconds, right? So minutes on the top, second at the bottom, 60 seconds in a minute, bada bing, bada boom. We'll see you later a minute. And let's calculate. So it's gonna be that value divided then by essentially five times 60. That's, they're both in the denominator. So this works out to be about 1.54 times 10 to the 20 uh, electrons per second. Voila. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. appreciate it very much. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. Even tell some of your classmates if we're able to help you, we might be able to help them. And we look forward to helping you with more problems. Be well.